Carbohydrates will cause your blood glucose levels to increase, particularly if larger portions are eaten. Carbohydrates are found in starchy foods such as bread, pasta, potatoes or rice. They are also found in sugary food and drinks such as cakes and biscuits or fizzy drinks. Additionally, they are found in fruit and fruit juices as well as milk and yogurts. All carbohydrates, no matter what type it is, is broken down into glucose in the body. Insulin is a hormone that is needed by the body to break down the glucose for energy. However, as discussed at the start of the video, during gestational diabetes it can be difficult for the body to make enough insulin throughout the whole of the pregnancy. So there are quite a few changes you can make to your diet throughout the pregnancy, such as reducing your carbohydrate intake to healthy or smaller portions, which will help reduce the need for your body to produce large amounts of insulin. This could delay the need for you to start medications or in some cases, insulin. One of the most important changes you can make is cutting out sugary food and drinks. Unfortunately, sugary food and drinks quickly raise your blood glucose levels, making it very difficult for you to achieve the targets needed after one hour. This includes sugar in any form, for example, table sugar, honey, syrup, jam. You are better to replace these with things such as sweeteners like Candorel or Splenda or any other supermarket own brand. Avoiding any full sugar drinks such as Coca-Cola, Lemonade, Lucasade or any other form of energy drinks. In addition, fruit juices can contain high amounts of sugar as they no longer contain the fibre. You are better to swap these to things such as diet or zero sugar versions of those drinks, water or no added sugar cordial versions or squash. Finally, avoid any sort of sugary sweets or jelly sweets. Additionally, avoiding large portions of cakes, chocolates and biscuits or puddings are helpful to helping control your blood glucose levels. If you would still like to enjoy something sweet but does not have an impact on your blood sugar level, try to have diet or Greek style yoghurt or fresh fruit or sugar free jelly or tinned fruit in juice. Or in summer you could try making your own homemade ice lollies where you can freeze diet drinks in the freezer using ice moulds. So what are smaller or healthy sizes of starchy carbohydrates? Starchy carbohydrates are important for steady energy throughout the day. Try to spread these out evenly in the day. For example, if you have three meals a day, aim to have one portion at each meal. Or if you do not have regular meals, try to have two to four snacks, but with a smaller portion at each snack. Some examples of one portion include four egg sized new potatoes, two medium slices of bread, one small wrap or pita bread or injera or chapati, four tablespoons of cooked rice or a fist size amount. Again, for pasta, four tablespoons or a fist size amount of cooked pasta. Or a small bowl of cereal. Other things may include couscous. Again, that will be a small fist size portion or four tablespoons. However, foods such as fufu or plantain may only need half a fist sized portion as they are quite carbohydrate dense. This is the same for yam, where you would only require two slices of boiled yam. All these portion sizes described are approximately 40 to 50 grams of carbohydrates. Therefore, for the best blood glucose control, avoid having double carbohydrate portions as this will increase your blood glucose levels above the one hour target range. If your blood glucose levels still remain high despite making changes and having healthy portion sizes, it is recommended that you speak to your diabetes team as you may require medications to help.